Hi, this is Lacey Beal from Caneview K-8, and I'm going to give you a little introduction on Generation Genius. This is something that um, was made by NSTA, the National Science Teachers Association, and it also aligns with NGSS and the LSS standards. So it just it's about a year and a half old and recently through the pandemic it really made some upgrades um i find that i'm not crazy about how they have the format set up um you can simplify it by choosing which grade level and then it it narrows down your selection um you have to click on it to kind of see how it aligns or you can go up to standards and it tells you how which video and which standards that they align with the only Thing that I the only downfall to what I see is that it uses the same video for K through two. So if you taught if you use this in kindergarten, you're gonna have trouble as a first grade teacher using it because the content has already been taught. If that makes sense. So this is definitely a great supplement. I also use this in my STEM classroom to give a different perspective on what they were learning in their homeroom science class because it covered the same standards just different material um so uh, it, it, it's good if maybe you have a substitute and you needed something uh quick and relatively painless for the substitute to have to teach because it's all pretty straightforward so if we went and looked at a video um, let's look at biomimicry. That's one of my favorites. So it brings up the video, which to me is a little bit more fast paced than the mystery science videos. And it doesn't really have stopping points to ask whole group questions. It, it kind of just um, moves along and you have to pause it in order to further the discussion or sometimes i feel like they even give the answer uh in in the video so it doesn't it's more of a recall not so much of why do you think this is happening um but nonetheless in a pinch or for digital learning this is definitely a reputable resource so you, after the video, you'll also find, so when you're prepping, there's lesson materials and it will bring you down, sorry. Um, what you'll learn from this video, then it has discussion questions. Um, it gives you the answer or your substitute an answer so that you know that they're on the right track. And so that was before the video and then questions after the video, it gives you the vocabulary used with the definition reading material this is something new this has since been added since our pandemic and it gives you um, different questions or definitions you can click the read aloud so biomimicry you, definition if you have the younger students that would be helpful for them if they're doing this at home um, so different points uh, that, that are in the video, if maybe they don't have internet connection or um, a, enough internet to stream a video, that is another possibility that you could use. Um, you can also print it out. So um, we have the DIY activity guide and it'll bring up just the activity portion of the video that you can watch or share. And it tells you the materials you'll need, how to do it, and then it tells you how it works. Again, when you give all of this information to the students 
it kind of takes away from the discovery in my opinion. So just be careful on just handing them something to expect that, you know, genuine authentic learning is happening and not just quadrant one, um, you know, recall. So we have the DIY and it'll just break it down. Today, we're going to make a shoe waterproof by using an idea inspired by nature. You're going to need an old... So it gives the kids an option or an opportunity to put that learning into action. Uh, there's the lesson plan, which you can download as a PDF. There's, which is great for a substitute because everything's there. It has the questions already embedded in it. Um, along with the answers, there's a teacher guide on how to best use it, and then there's the assessment. Um, you have the online quiz game. So there's two different platforms. You have play as a group, which the kids love doing this in uh, Kahoot in class. Um, I don't know what that would look like in our new setting if we're still social distancing, I, how you play as a group. You could even do it as a whole group or if they have their individual devices. Um, and then quizzes is good for at home, which I just played one of the rounds and it was really fun. Um, that they can play online to um, further, you know, you, you know that they're getting that content. But again, not a lot of, um, discovery is happening. It's, it's just fun questions. So just keep that in mind when you're using that. Definitely great for supplemental. There's the paper quiz that you can download and pass out. It is in a worksheet. And there is also an exit ticket. So you could just pull that up and on the board, have them write on a, you know, post it or whatever platform you want to use. If it's digital or Flipgrid. Um, they can answer that exit ticket, which I do like that it's not just a recall and answer. It's give an example. Um, name two animal structures. I mean, that that's kind of recall, but obviously we need to know that before we move on to the, the deeper stuff. So um, Generation Genius, it, it's a good resource, in my opinion mystery science aligns better and has more options as far as diverse uh, learning in the sense of they're getting a different form of content each year. This is something that you would have to, if this says K to two, I mean, you wanna make sure that you're not teaching the same thing for three years in a row. Um, so you have to get with your teacher friends at different grade levels to find out what it is that they're doing. Um, but for distance learning, this is great. The videos are engaging, but not as in depth as Doug on Mystery Science and the um, questions, discussion questions aren't as deep. So just keep that in mind. Um, but definitely a good resource to use. The district has paid for um, a subscription and in September, they're supposed to have um, grades six through eight complete. Now these videos are being done really quickly. So that kind of tells you, you know, when things can be done that quickly, how, how deep are they really going? Um, so 45 lessons coming for grades six through eight. There's three of them already there that you could kind of test out. So just play around with it, see what works for you. If you wanted to search by topic, I didn't know that I pressed something. If you wanted to search by topic, they have those at the bottom as well. Again, this is Lacey Beal. If you have any questions, you can email me at Lacey, L-A-C-Y dot Beal, B-E-H-L at WBRschools.net, or you can get in touch with Tammy Seneca or Stephanie Thompson as well. All right, thanks for watching. Have fun.